welcome to another video. Where are we? Pristina. We're in Pristina. The capital of Kosovo. Yeah. So we're here for a week. We have been told that you can pretty much explore it in one day. We kind of did in one night. We, <laughs> we did see the main sites um, when we arrived on Saturday night. It's now Monday. But uh, yeah, we're going to go have a look at them in a little bit more detail. Go have a look. We're going to do a couple of things kind of maybe each day to spread it out but yeah we're going to show you guys what you kind of can do in Pristina what you can see get up to again not a whole lot but it's from what we've seen it's a pretty funky place and the food's good too so that's yeah. a bonus always a bonus cause... so come with us and we'll show you Pristina so we're also just thought I'd let you know we're staying on Bill Clinton Boulevard we're on the ninth floor in the Ashik um, that's we're staying in an Airbnb while we're here. It is, I think, was about forty dollars a night that we're paying. Not very big. Got a bed, got a kitchen, and a bathroom behind that. But for a week, it's pretty good. And we are on pretty much the main road. We're on, as I said, Bill Clinton Boulevard. So, pretty good location for forty dollars a night. So just behind me we've got the National Library and then literally right across from it is this abandoned uh, Russian Orthodox church. So behind us um, we've got uh, an abandoned Orthodox church um, and the majority of people in Kosovo uh, identify as Muslim although religion isn't quite as strong here as in some other areas but basically there aren't that many um, Serbians in Kosovo um, and especially in Pristina they tend to be closer to the Serbian border and that's that's kind of where the political um, clashes happen because obviously the Serbians in the north want to remain Serbian they don't want to become uh, Kosovars um, so yeah there aren't that many Serbians in the capital itself um, and the Orthodox Church is more, um, the Serbians uh, identify more as Orthodox Christians um, rather than as Muslims like the rest of the Albanian Kosovars. <laughs> Do you want to get on one? Ride one of those? Like, not no. Love a good Balkan footpath where it's kind of half under construction or destruction. <laughs> As you need to go to Japan to see the cherry blossoms to now come here to Pristina. It's a little cheaper. <laughs> it is a little cheaper. Uh, the Grand Hotel not looking very grand anymore but not was quite. once the epicenter basically of uh, politicians and mm -hmm. people with money who would stay there when visiting yeah because I think the, the old uh, Yugoslavian leader 
um, or dictator, whatever you want to call him, Tito, um, actually had a private suite here and fall of the uh, fall of the Yugoslav Empire. Um, a lot of the local politicians and wannabes um, wanted to actually take over the room and spend some time in it. This is our beautiful escalator where we leave the door open. Elevator. Elevator, sorry. <laughs> it's very, very fancy, obviously. Yeah, it's not pretty, but it gets the job done most of the time. Yeah, except for that one time that we actually got stuck and yeah. had to go all the way back down to the bottom. Yeah, so we were on the ninth floor and it stopped halfway between eight and nine. So we had to press zero, go back down to zero and then come all the way back up. Open the door. Push. And then have the dark. Oh jeez, okay, I can't see anything. Is there a light? Harry Potter. A place in Napier. Do you remember? Nope. Napier. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, here you go. Yeah. Home. Sweet home. Yeah. So one of our favourite things is to uh, get some pastries because, like... We love pastries. All of these, like, pastries. We've got an apple thing. Uh, uh, savory thing, uh, sausage thing, no, that sausage thing, and a bun, vanilla bun, and a little caramel thing. Okay. All of this okay. probably cost us two euro sixty, which is about four dollars, less than four dollars Australian. Yep. So. So normally you get maybe this for four dollars Australian. So uh, we is... we live off pastries in Europe because <laughs> it's the cheapest. Little pastries and coffee. Pastries everywhere, if we're being completely honest. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> pastries in Japan. <laughs> yeah, that's why I've got such a slender figure. Yep. Hello again. So, we've just been out. We went and had coffee with a local here. Um, Someone we met on the bus, Shaggy. Yep. from. Well, we met him on the bus from Tirana. So, he's living here. So, yeah, we went and had coffee with him, which was nice. Just kind of had a chat. Um, but now, we are gonna go to the Cathedral of St. Mother Teresa, which is pretty much like a couple of meters down the, down the road from us. Uh, we're basically staying right outside. You can walk up, so there's a tower, you can walk up it. So we're gonna do that, we're gonna check out the views. Um, it's kind of all we're gonna do this afternoon. Um, maybe a little bit of shopping. If there's anything, there's a couple of things that we need to get, so we'll see if we can find them. Bit of grocery shopping and come back. We haven't really been doing much, but because it is such a small place, again, you can do it in one day. But yeah, just thought we'd check in, let you know what we're up to. So you have to get a ticket. It is a euro per person. Um, and then, yeah, you get put in a lift and you. We're going to the top. Four or five. Number five. View without the thingies in the way. That's, That's our apartment. I mean, for a euro, like, it's, it's a cool view. So, this is the church is still under construction, um, it's still kind of being built, um, and they never used to have an elevator here, it was stairs, and the stairs are blocked off. Um, I think because they haven't been repaired um, or they're a bit dangerous to climb, but there's an elevator, so it doesn't really matter. And that is the end of our time here in Kosovo, in uh, Pristina. So we are heading to 
our new destination today however our next vlog is actually us where we did a day trip yesterday into uh prison yeah so that will be in our next video so keep an eye out for that um but yeah we can't wait to get to our next destination thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed our video please give it a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel all that jazz um that everyone gets you to do at the end of a video if you haven't done it already and until then we will see you next time so let me sing for you like the birds in the mountains do like a child who cries for you cries for you so let me sing for you about the streets and the avenue